So, would you like to get a new radio or just upgrade your current Ursaling to something better? Because I don't know, you want to have faster refresh rate, more range, more reliability or just have some bucks you would like to spend on your favorite hobby. This video is the walkthrough of the best radio links for the 2022. So, at the end of the video you will know what's the best radio link for you. In the meantime, hit the like button and write in the comments what is your current current and what is your future, if any, RC link. Thanks, it means a lot and it helps to grow the channel. Let's begin with what's not on the list. This list will not contain any of the classical legacy radio links like the FreeSky, Spectrum, FlySky, etc. It's 2022 after all. If you are thinking about getting something new, well, get something relatively new and yeah, there are just better radios than the Free Sky, Fly Sky and Spectrum. Let's begin with absolute classics, the TBS Crossfire. Some people will say that the Crossfire is the best RC link out there. First of all, the range. The Crossfire has all the range that you will ever need. On top of that, we have the amazing ecosystem, because if you buy from the TBS, everything what TBL sells and can be connected to the Crossfire receiver works with the Crossfire receiver. This applies to the analog receivers, the analog VTXs and so on and so on and so on. Also, the reliability and the quality of the Crossfire is top notch. It's designed, built and sold by the single company that, let's be honest, values the quality. So definitely, if you are looking for the reliability and the range, the Crossfire most probably is for you. However, there are two problems with the TBS Crossfire. Problem number one is that, well, it's not always easily available. Sometimes you just have to wait until it's back in stock. And the second problem is size of the antennas. It is 900 megahertz radio system. That means that it has to have kinda big, long and chunky antennas. While it's not really a problem on the RC airplanes, it can be a problem on drones. Try to install the Crossfire antenna on something that's smaller than 5 inches. Yes, you can. Sure, you really can if you really, really, really want to install a full-size Crossfire antenna on the tiny whoop, but let's be honest, it looks ridiculous. But that's the price you have to pay for the extra range and the penetration. Because let's be honest, the Crossfire antenna would be almost bigger than this quad. Next, let's stay with the Team Black Sheep and let's talk about the TBS Tracer. Comparing to the Crossfire, the Tracer, while keeping the same quality and the ecosystem, solves the biggest Crossfire problem, which is the size of the antenna. Tracer is 2.4 GHz, not 900 MHz system. The antenna is just much shorter. And as an extra bonus, it offers faster the refresh rate. However, there is a price to pay. And the price, like you might expect, is the range. Yes, the Tracer range is still pretty much impressive comparing to the legacy protocols we are not talking today, but if we compare it with the Crossfire, well, it falls short. And just like the Crossfire, it's not always easily available. You have to wait and wait and wait, and there is Tracer in the stock, and then you have to wait, and wait, and wait. Next is the Immersion RC Ghost. Ghost, the another 2.4 GHz radio link, has some interesting features. First of all, its simplicity and extremely nice system of upgrading transmitter and the receiver. You just plug it in, flash the transmitter, connect the receiver, updates run over the air, super nice and efficient process. On top of that, it's a very nice quality premium hardware, it offers both high performance and high range modes and usually works just fine. And because it's 2.4 GHz, it also has those super nice teeny tiny antennas. And the bonus points come from the fact that the Ghost hardware is compatible with the Express LRS firmware. Of course, Ghost has some problems too. It's not always easily available 
And there is a problem with telemetry. It's not that there is no telemetry with the Immersion RC Ghost. It's rather the fact that the telemetry is highly limited. It's only a few sensors, there is no bidirectional link that allows you to change the flight controller setup over the telemetry, which by the way the Crossfire has, and in general you feel that, well, it's nice, but I wish I had something more. If you ask me, the lack of the full-blown telemetry is the biggest minus when we are talking about Immersion RC Ghost. If this was better, I would be able to say that this is the best radio leak out there, but it's not there, so I can not. I wish, but I can't. And finally, we have the Express LRS. What differs Express LRS from all the other radio links we talked before is that Express LRS is A, open source and B, it's only the software part. Express LRS at itself, it's not making any hardware, it's not selling any hardware. Express LRS is only a software that can run or multiple hardwares provided by other companies. And this and the fact that is the open source and has the very nice and big community has some perks. It works with variety of the receivers it has the very nice and fast development cycle. That means that the new features are rolled out frequently, is compatible on the protocol level with the Crossfire, and yeah, it has a very nice and full-blown telemetry. However, it of course has some problems. Problem number one, in my opinion, is slightly too fast of the development cycle. Because more or less every six months you should upgrade to the new version. But if we combine that with, in my opinion, rather irritating upgrade process of all the receivers, connecting, checking, uploading, it all takes a lot of time. If you compare this with the ease of the upgrade process, for example, on the Immersion RC Ghost, you see that, well, probably Express LRS should slightly improve on that. And the final problem is connected with the fact that the Express LRS is the software software part only. The receivers might come from different manufacturers, different projects, different quality, and you have no warranty that the receiver you bought is the same quality or any quality comparing to the receivers you already have. Yes, they will work with each other, but there is no consistency. In most of the cases, the Express LRS hardware quality is well not the best one out there. I'm not saying it's bad, but it's not the best either. The cheap hardware means that, well, the hardware quality is not as high as it might be. Those are the four most interesting radio links for the 2022. Not all possible options, but definitely the most interesting ones. If something is not on the list that, well, probably you should not really buy it. One more time, please write in the comments, what's your current and future RC link if you are thinking about upgrading it. Let's see what community thinks about it. If you would like to know more about the RC radio links, here's the video for you. In the meantime, I'm Paweł Spychalski. Thank you very much for watching and like always, happy flying!